But um, the decision was taken to um, look at how we strengthen as part of us trying to move the Dragons into a new period. It was quite clearly a significant period of change last year in personnel and um, other other and all parts of the business are subject to the same. And uh, I'm delighted to um, be able to welcome Di to, to the club. I was incredibly impressed about his passion for the region, um, his desire to, to be involved in the region's new direction and to bring his experiences of international, um, some time as head coach, his lengthy experience of a variety of roles and coach and, and just when looking around Wales just feeling that this is the person that needs that next chance, needs an opportunity um, and needs an environment where he can continue to develop and add his expertise into Welsh rugby. So I'm, I'm delighted to welcome him um, and I'm delighted to come here and talk to you about that today. I think um, it's going to strengthen us is the easiest way because um, Dice focus is going to be on day to day. It's what's happening in next hour, next what, what we need to do sort of tomorrow about developing the coaching team. Um, we've been pretty young and, and inexperienced in that space about bringing his ideas and, and contributions about how we learn, how people um, need to build those relationships every single day. That's his focus. Um, that's difficult for that to be mine with the role that I have here at the club. And I think that makes the two of us a stronger unit. Am I still going to coach? Yes. When he factors me in. Um, am I responsible for rugby? Yes. But how does it work? We've got to work that out. And um, I always find people who have challenging ideas, strength of opinions, make places stronger. So how does it work? I think that's for us to find out, and I'm looking forward to that. But is um, does it change my role? Makes my role a bit easier, I think, because I was probably trying to cover too many things. Um, and does it change how we evolve forward? Absolutely, because it's got a new personality. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. We're both aligned on that. Like my strengths are my day-to-day -day coaching, teaching, and how how we develop as a team and I don't see that being different here. It's important that me and Dean consistently talk and we're aligned and that that'll happen all the time and we challenge each other consistently on how we play, how we develop, how we teach. But again, the, the role for me is, a, is the next step. It's a perfect role to align what I believe and how we should run environments to get the best of the players and I get to do that daily, not just players but also working with staff, whether that's coaching staff aligning medical, SNC staff along with Dean, Dean's thoughts on it and, and growing the performances on the field um, and each individual in the environment. But I just want players to, to get better, so I want to see improvement week after week after week with players. Regarding the game, we want boys to express themselves. But if you look at the new track here, Rodney Parade, it's built the players to go and play well. And if you look at the squad that's being built here in, in the Dragons region as well, and, we want to go out and play, we want to be smart with it, and, and you'll see that evolve over the years, I have no doubt. The easiest way, I guess, I can explain it, I was sat at the dinner table and had some information through and some squad depth through, and my wife asked out, oh, what, what are you thinking, looking at it, I couldn't hide my excitement. I've worked with a lot of the squad previously, so I started my coaching career in the region, I'm up and out the boy from the region, um, so I know people like Leon Brown, Joe Davis, who are recruited for me for high school, and, and my job here now is to make them better. Them on. Same with Ben Carter, of course, in the schools under 15s, making him better. And the list can continue from Jared Ross, Rio Dyer. Like so much excitement in the squad. And then you add in the stardust that's been signed and the depth we're, look, we're looking to build. So it's a very good academy here. They produce a lot of quality players, and, and it's important that I help generate the next step for our players as well. The stuff I thrive on, the stuff I, I work really hard at, and the stuff is how I challenge players, how I make them better, and that's the stuff that I'll continue to do for as long as I coach. And it goes in line with what Dean's saying then, is how do we make players better, how do we set standards that they want to hit, and then how do we drive them to make sure that they're only in their performances, that they're putting the work in, they're doing the extra to be better. So, so that's the day-to-day -day stuff that, that 
fits my strength and that's the exciting part of the job. The responsibility for rugby here is mine. And, you know, responsibility tends to come with all the negatives. So that's mine. And I have no problem with that. Is I committed to David that I will make the decisions that gets this club pointed in the right direction. I committed to Di that I will create an environment that allows him to develop. Sometimes you've got to separate those two things. You know, as a young head coach, I don't think the last six months would have been a great space for any Welsh coach to develop. And sometimes those hard decisions need to be made. When they're made when I was, you know, in the midst of all the relationships, they were very difficult as well. So that's why I see it as a stronger now. There still are tough decisions to be made by the Dragons. There are still decisions to be made that need to be separated from the day to day. And that's why between the two of us, I think we're stronger for it.